hearing this speaker, but just to start preaching with my voice. Hallelujah. Because, praise God, I just listen to the voice of the Lord, either going to the airport or coming here. Praise God. And I didn't know that eventually that this brother was going to be here, who I did not know. I just walked up here and I heard a worship music playing. And I was like, wow, praise God. That the Lord, He actually provided a brother. And He provided a brother who also has a speaker here as well. As the Lord told me, just to go to the bean and don't bring a speaker. Just use your voice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I went by faith. Praise God. And there ends up being this brother right here, already here with the speaker. Glory to God, who I have no idea who he is, but we just met now. Thank you, Jesus. And now we're preaching together. He speaks Spanish, but glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's how the Lord works. He got someone who's speaking Spanish now, and he got someone who can speak in English now. Thank you, Jesus. Working together. Wow. Glory to God. I, and I said, Lord, I was like, Lord, if I, if I heard correctly, as I was driving here, I was like, Lord, if I heard correctly that you want me to come here, Lord God, and preach with my voice rather than going to the airport, Lord God, and preach over there. And show me a sign that I heard correctly. I'm gonna go by faith, and I'm gonna take the the more uncomfortable one. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the harder one. Amen. And that's how I also knew that sometimes you want to choose the harder one. You want to choose a harder decision. That's the one that the Lord is calling you to do. So I I chose that one. And I was like, Lord, give me a sign if I heard correctly, so that I can continue to know Your voice. Amen. And then here's this brother right here. This brother is a sign to that I heard correctly. Glory to God. Show our heart. Our words show our heart. Our life. 
like shows our heart, which is why the Bible says we have to repent and have a change of heart. Change the heart of sin, and now change the heart of stone, and now have a heart of flesh, and a heart that desires to live for God, and to serve Jesus Christ, and Jesus will give you eternal life. Hallelujah. Because heaven and hell is real, and he wants to give you eternal life. Jesus wants to save you from sin. Glory to God. Glory to God. But you got to be humble. If you humble yourself, God will give you grace. If you confess your sins to God, He will forgive you. He will forgive you. If you confess your sins with a humble heart and you acknowledge Him, He will forgive you. But if you don't, then God cannot forgive you. Yes, Jesus died on the cross. But if you don't come to Him, He cannot forgive you. Because you got to do your part. And your part is to have faith in Christ. God did his part by sending his son. Now you got to do your part and have faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But if you don't have faith in Christ, God cannot save you. It is faith that makes you well. It is your faith that saves you. By the grace of God, the free gift of eternal life is Jesus Christ. Because the wages of sin is death. These are my words. These are the words from the word of God. The price of sin is death. The lake of fire. Eternal damnation from God. But the free gift of eternal life is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way to get to God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except by the Son. No man can come to God except through the Son, Jesus Christ. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you shall be saved. Call upon Jesus Christ, because time is short, and the end is coming near. Hallelujah. That's why we come out here, because we don't want anybody to die in their sin. We don't want people to be separated from God and go to hell. Just like I was on my way to hell. But Jesus Christ saved me from my sin. He helped me repent. He helped change my heart. He helped change my life and give me a heart to desire Him. And give me a life and a heart to serve Him with all of my life. And all of my heart. And all of my strength. And all of my soul. And all of my mind. Glory to God. The first and greatest commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name.
John 3, 18, he that believeth on him is not condemned, talking about Jesus Christ, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, and this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil, for everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed, but he that does truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in God. Hallelujah. It says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Glory to God. There's no greater gift than eternal life. Hallelujah, everybody. Eternity, eternity is in the hearts of men. Eternity is in the hearts of every single person. Everybody wonders where they're going to go after this life. What is next after this life? Where, where am I going to go? Because this life is a moment. I see people dying. I hear people dying every day. Where am I going to go after I die? It's because we all have eternity in our hearts. And we all want to live forever. It says that death is man's enemy. Death is man's biggest enemy. And Jesus Christ, he conquered the grave. He never sinned one time just to become our sin on that cross and put the death our sin. And that's why Jesus says there's no greater love than one laid down their life for another. That Jesus laid down his life for the whole entire world, for you and for I. Glory to God. And in Jesus Christ, we can have salvation. In Jesus Christ, we can have victory because there was victory on the third day when Jesus rose from the dead. He conquered the grave. He conquered death. He conquered sin. He conquered Satan. He conquered every demon. Jesus Christ is alive. And that's why he says, oh death, where is your sting? Because when you're in Jesus Christ, you have eternal life and death is no longer your master. But if you're not in Christ, then death is still your master. Jesus is saying, come to me, follow me. God is the way that leads to death and many will go through it. But narrow is the path that leads to life and few will find it. Why? Because it is tough to walk, to walk, to walk. It is tough to follow Jesus Christ. It is tough to deny yourself. It is tough to give up your life and to follow the Son of God. But it is worth it. It is worth it to not follow the world. This world is perishing and this world is passing away. But he who does the will of God shall abide forever. And what is the will of God? That each and every single one of you to repent. And what does repent mean? Change of mind, a change of heart. Repent is not a bad word. So many people think that repentance is a bad word. Repent is a good word. Repentance means to live. Repentance means to turn from sin, turn from evil, turn from what harms you. And now come to Jesus Christ who can save you because sin always brings consequences. Sin comes to destroy. Sin comes to bring death. You can find out for yourself as you get older. Sin does no good. Sin divides. And that's why it says the price of sin is death. Because that's what sin gives to you. It gives death on the outside and on the inside. Sin doesn't give you peace. Sin cannot bring you joy. Sin only brings depression. Sin brings anger. Sin brings jealousy. Sin brings envy. Sin brings drunkenness. Sin brings drugs. Sin brings 
relying and depending on other things outside of God. Sin does not give you life. Sin, there is no life in sin because sin comes from Satan. Sin comes from the devil who's on his way to hell. But Jesus says, I come to give life and life more abundant. And Jesus wants to give you life on the inside. He wants to give you the joy and the peace. Jesus wants to give you power. He wants to give you power to live a good life. Jesus wants to give you power over sin. Jesus wants to give you power over temptation. He wants to give you power to be a child of God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ wants to give you power or else you're always going to stay a victim to Satan. You're always going to stay a victim to sin because you don't have the power to overcome Satan on your own. You're weak compared to Satan. You're weak compared to the demon. And that's why people get tossed to and fro because they cannot take him on. You need the power of the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people are ignorant. And a lot of people don't even care. It says people perish for a lack of knowledge. People perish for a lack of knowledge because you're not seeking the truth. You're not open to the truth. And if you're not seeking the truth, if you're not open to the truth, then how can you ever find? And how can you ever be set free? Because this is what Jesus says, who the Son sets free shall be free indeed, and the truth shall make you free. Because no lies can set you free. A lie only has death. A lie only brings defeat. There's no truth in a lie. Of course, unless you like to be lied to. You like to be lied to? Then it can maybe make you feel good for a moment, but it ain't doing you any good in the long run. That's the truth. The devil's a liar, and Jesus is the truth. And this is the truth. Repent or perish. Repent from sin, or you will perish in your sin. I'm sorry to say that, but that is the truth. Because God is good. Jesus Christ, Jesus, amen, hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is the Savior, and He's the Savior of the world. He is the Lamb of God who was slain. He is the Lamb of God that was slain in Jerusalem, outside of the city gates on Calvary. Glory to God. And he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It is finished. Jesus said on the cross that it is finished. The wrath of God, the penalty of sin was finished. It was placed on Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. He said it is finished. It is complete. You can be saved. You can be saved. You can be saved from God's wrath. You can be saved from sin. You can be saved from the lake of fire. You can be saved from Satan. Hallelujah. You can be saved from the devil. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Blessed is the man who knows his sins are forgiven. But you're always going to stay a bondage and a victim if you don't come to Jesus. If you don't come to Jesus, you're always going to stay a victim to sin. You're always going to stay a victim to insecurity, to depression, to loneliness to anxiety, to fear. You're always going to stay a victim because you don't have the power. Jesus has the power. And the power is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You need the Holy Spirit. You need the Spirit of God to live inside you to overcome. You need the Spirit of God to live inside you. If you don't have the Spirit of God, God's going to see you as a child of the world and not as a child of God. If you don't have the Spirit of God, when you see Him face to face someday, it's appointed unto man to die once, and then comes the judgment of God. When you see God face to face someday, and if He doesn't see the Spirit of God living inside you, then you are not His child, but you're a child of the world. You're a child of Satan. That's the truth, because your actions and your life shows whose child you are. Your actions, your fruit of your life will show are you a child of God or a child of the devil? And the devil's going to the lake of fire and every demon as well. They will be tormented day and night. But those who are in Christ Jesus, those whose names are written in the book of life can have eternal life. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is King and He's coming soon. Call upon the name of Jesus and you can be saved. Hallelujah. Glory to Dios.
Señor. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias, Jesús, por el precio que tú pagaste, Señor. Gracias, Jesús, por cada padre, cada herida que tú tienes, Señor, que por nosotros, Padre. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias, Padre, por perdonar nuestros pecados, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Padre, por enviar a tu Hijo Jesús, Señor, a salvarnos, Padre, de la mano del enemigo. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias, Padre, por todo. Gracias a ti, Señor, sea la gloria, Jesús. La gloria y la majestad en tu presencia, Señor. Todo es gracias a ti, Señor. Somos creados por tu imagen y tu semejanza, Jesús. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias, Jesús. Tú eres el único Rey, Señor. El único Padre que nos da la salvación, Señor. Que nos convence de pecado, Señor. Yo hizo, Señor, en tu presencia, en tu nombre, Jesús. Que esta semilla, Padre, que estamos depositando en cada persona, que dé fruto a, a su tiempo, Señor. Y busque tu gloria y tu presencia, Señor. Y sean convencidos del pecado, Señor. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias, Jesús. Gracias, la gloria. Sí, sí. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Padre. A ti sea la gloria, Señor, y la honra, Señor Jesús. Dan a tu palabra, Señor, que nos llene de tu presencia, Jesús. Gracias Espíritu Santo, gracias Señor, gracias Padre por la salvación Padre, trae un despertar Padre a Chicago Señor, un movimiento de tu Espíritu Padre, un ayudamiento Padre de milagros y sanidades Señor, que cada persona busque tu rostro. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. That was awesome. Now, I guess we preach and we use our voice. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. He, uh, let's see here. He, uh, uh, ¿Cómo te llamas again? Princess. Princess? Sí. Okay, okay. Yeah, mi amo David. David. Yes, yeah, sí. Hallelujah. Como el rey David. Sí. Sí, sí. Amen. Um, y, uh, Let's see here. Uh, number. 